guys and welcome back to my channel. So I'm currently driving to work. I'm battling the sun like I always am. I have another red eye tonight and I actually want to ask you guys. So my schedule has been very consistent lately, like a routine. All of my trips coming up are either JFK red eyes, Newark red eyes, and I do have one Boston red eye, which I was able to swap into because Boston is usually a very productive trip. Do you guys want to see those videos because it's like the same trip every single week where I feel like it'll get boring. The only thing different is you'll just hear me talk, but like everything I do, I feel like it's pretty much the same and very, very boring. So let me know in the comments if that is something that you guys want to see because I definitely will film them if you want to see it. If not, sorry, the sun is just the worst right now. If not, I won't vlog them. So uh, yeah, let me know. But I'm actually gonna put on my sunglasses right now. I just wanted to say hi for you guys to see me first before I put my sunglasses on. Cause I am just battling this sun. I told you that as I drive to work, cause you know, my schedule has been all red eyes that I drive the direction of the sunset. It's just so freaking bright. It's like, you can't even see. I did want to say guys, thank you so much on my last vlog for listening to me. I feel okay today. I do feel a little bit groggy only cause I, I haven't been liking my sleep schedule lately. I've, I've been going to sleep really, really late, like three, 4 a.m. in the morning and waking up like at noon, one o'clock. And I have not been liking that schedule at all. I've always been an early riser and I wanna get back to being an early riser. So all that is making me super, super groggy. But other than that, I do feel fine today. It's a JFK red eye on the C position. And we do not have a first officer right now. So I'm very interested to see what's gonna happen because we, I guess, don't have a pilot. We have already been delayed one hour. We were supposed to take off at 11.30 p.m. My sign-in's at 10.30. Sign-in is always one hour prior to departure. And now we're delayed till 12.30. So we're already delayed an hour. Don't know what's gonna happen. I'm curious to see if they are gonna cancel the flight. I mean, I wouldn't doubt it. If you don't have a pilot, you don't have a pilot. I really don't know. So yeah, we'll find out, but nonetheless, I still have to continue driving to work. So that's what I'm gonna be doing, regardless of how high gas prices are. Gas prices are ridiculous. I filled up on $5.15 yesterday. So nuts. But once again, guys, thank you so much uh, for listening to my last vlog. I try to, like I said in the video, I want to keep my channel positive and I don't want to feel like I ramble about the same shit all the time, honestly. And um, actually really quick, I wanted to talk to you guys about that. So I am a nice, kind person, but I'm also a real person. Sometimes I say shit, sometimes I say fuck. <laughs> It's just the way it is. I'm a real person and my real vocabulary will slip off my tongue. I have had comments in the past saying stuff like, oh, I don't want to follow you anymore because I don't like this about you. Or I don't want to follow you anymore because I don't like, you don't have to cuss. Well, I understand that, but I also need to be me and this is who I am. I'm not saying I'm X rated or explicit, but I'm a real person with real vocabulary. So I love Disney. I love flying. I'm a flight attendant. This is my job, but I'm also real. So my real vocabulary is going to come out. I'm a real person. I like to reflect that on my channel. I'm a real person. So if that's something that's going to bother you, then maybe you shouldn't be here. I would love you here, but maybe you shouldn't be here because I'm not going to stop being who I am. I'm a real person. And um, I just don't want always like if I say a bad word in the comments saying, oh, you don't have to say that, it makes you look so ugly. I'm like, okay, well, that comment makes you look really ugly that you're being judgmental on somebody you don't even know. Um, I've also had people comment like on what I wear or about my makeup and I'm just like, why do people have to be so mean? I don't really get it. But anyway, I really wanted just to say that because I know as a YouTuber, not just me, a lot of other people, we struggle with that. Like we want to show who we really are, but you also don't want to be judged for who you really are. I'm a real person. That's me. This is my vocabulary. This is my life. This is my personality. And I'm just sharing it with you guys. If you love it, I love you. And I would love to have you guys here. And if you don't, then maybe I'm not the channel for you. And that's totally fine. Anyways, that went off on a different <laughs> note. <laughs> but yeah, I'll keep you guys updated what happens. I'm kind of curious right now because it is currently about 7 o'clock. My sign-in is at 1030 and we still don't have a pilot. So I don't know. 
there's two options. They can either release us with full pay protection or they could kind of like get us a hotel if we cancel. And then we're kind of like at will of the company. You in a way go on reserve because they can reassign you to do something else tomorrow. My worst fear is to go on minimum rest, like 10 hours minimum rest, and then have like a four leg day. You guys know I do not do anything over two legs. I just, I'm very particular with what I fly. It has to be commutable on both ends. That's why I do this trip. This trip is commutable. So commutable is number one. It has to be commutable because I cannot drive super super exhausted after flying five legs a day so two legs max yeah we'll see that's my biggest fear either that or they could i mean i don't know or we could just fly the trip maybe they find somebody and we end up taking off super delayed i have no idea we'll figure it out i will talk to you guys in a little bit i'm about to go into the mountains and driving through the mountains at sunset is probably going to be a little bit difficult but i think by the time i actually get in there the sun will kind of be down already so yeah Please do subscribe if you want to see more flight attendant content. We'll see what actually happens on this trip. All right. Hi guys. So <laughs> I'm using my ring light right now because it is actually really, really dark in this hotel. I don't know what it is. What a hotel lighting is very dark. They don't like want to invest in daylights, but I had quite a day. You guys are not even going to believe like my day. So do you remember in my vlog that I did about like reasons not to apply to be a flight attendant in 2021 or 2022 structure was one of my reasons and again I'm someone who I love structure and I love like knowing what I'm doing and stuff I will say that your schedule may look like the same trip on the same day every single week but something will always happen that every single trip is different and this is exactly that so it is currently 10 30 p.m originally i was supposed to report at this time and i'm in a hotel in san francisco <laughs> let me tell you let me tell you okay halfway through my drive i get a call while i'm in gilroy which is about an hour and 45 to two hours from my house depending on how you're driving and it's about an hour from the bay area well our flight canceled scheduling calls me i answer the phone and they're like, now you have to report at 9.30 in the morning for a deadhead to New York so we can operate our flight back. And I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to need a hotel because I don't live local. And they would not provide a hotel because I'm based in San Francisco. So technically I'm in base and we have not yet checked in for our pairing. When I was denied the hotel, I asked if I could just we have in our contract where you can like just if you have a cancellation you can like waive pay and not get like penalized so I had asked for that and because it was like day of or I I, I don't even want to act like I know what I'm talking about but long story short I was not able to so it kind of left me like screwed <laughs> honestly so at that point it was like 8 15 by the time I drive home it won't be till like 10 15 p.m and I'm supposed to be back here in the Bay Area for a 9.30 report, which means I'm here at 8.30, which means I leave by like 4.30 a.m. So I'm gonna get home at 11 p.m. just to have to leave at 4.30 a.m. in the morning. That comes cuts into like being exhausted, fatigued, all the above. So long story short, my company was gracious enough when I spoke to a manager to get me a hotel so I ended up driving the rest of the way up here to the Bay Area. So now I'm in a hotel, in an oversold hotel that when I checked in, they didn't even have a room for me. And our scheduling told me that they had a room for me here. So I had to wait 45 minutes downstairs to confirm a confirmation number. Yes, they ended up having a room for me, but it was under a different name or whatever. But nonetheless, I am thankful that I have a hotel room. So pretty much tomorrow I am now deadheading to New York on the morning flight to operate the flight back the next day. They try to always catch you up with your pairing if they can, whenever there's some type of irregular operation or cancellation or whatever. So I'm on like a really minimum rest tonight. I think I only have like 10 hours here. I definitely won't get 10 hours of sleep. The only good thing is that I'm only deadheading tomorrow, but that could change. They could decide that they need a crew member and they could switch me to working crew as well. But currently I am a deadhead, deadheading crew. I could 
sleep if I wanted to on the flight tomorrow, but I do want to make sure I get enough sleep in case somehow they end up swapping me to a working crew tomorrow. You just never know what's going to happen. You have to kind of be prepared for everything. Like I previously stated, this job is always changing. You know, structure is one thing like I need structure. Like I was hoping to stop at the grocery store to get food because I didn't have food. I couldn't do that. I was hoping, you know, where our hotel is at in New York, there is a grocery store nearby and there's food places nearby. And I was like, okay, well, I'll get food there because I have a long layover. And now I don't even think we're at that hotel anymore. Now they're switching us to our short stay hotel, which there is nothing there. So having no food in my lunch pail and then nowhere to get food when I'm there, I mean, that's enough to give me anxiety. Like I'm someone that I need to sleep at least eight hours, like six to eight hours, but preferably eight, at least rest, you know, for eight hours. And I'm somebody that I need to have a meal. I can't operate on junk food. I can't operate on just candy and chips. I need an actual meal. If not, I'm eating a bunch of shit, honestly. And it's not giving me full. It's making, it's giving me a headache. Everything makes me sick, guys. I'm very sensitive in my body and everything makes me sick. If I don't sleep, I get sick. If I don't eat, I get sick. If the weather is off, I get sick. I'm just such a sensitive freaking Susan. I kind of hate it. But it is, you know, some people are more sensitive than others. Some people who are ride or dies for whatever the world throws at them and they're okay, I envy you. And a lot of people are like that. You know, they should know how lucky they are because a lot of people like me can't handle that. And it's not because I'm a big baby or a crybaby. It's just I can't. <laughs> I wish I could. I can't. I'm not even going to shower tonight. I actually showered right before I left. I'm just going to take off my beautiful face of makeup. I'm going to melt it away. Anyway, yeah, I'm going to take off my makeup and just change into my pajamas and kind of get my bags ready for tomorrow because I'm going to be getting up early. What a, what a crazy, crazy, what a crazy, like, I don't, I don't even know, honestly, but yeah, I'll, I'll talk to you guys again tomorrow. So it's just crazy, crazy, crazy. <laughs> Hi, guys. I'm dealing with the sun again. <laughs> sun 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 all the time <laughs> good morning so i guess technically it is day one of this trip even though yesterday was technically day one sorry i'm always battling the sun here <laughs> i don't know what it is yeah it's eight o'clock right now my report time is actually not till 9 30 but i'm gonna see if i can go find some breakfast or something to eat i'm not really sure i'm gonna try to go find something because we are deadheading today to new york on the 10 30 flight and i really get fully dressed up my makeup is very very uh minimal i literally just did um some concealer under my eyes some mascara and my brows. That's really it. I'm gonna be wearing a mask all day and um, I'm gonna try to sleep, honestly. On a deadhead, we could sleep, we can do anything. It's a full flight. I already know my seat and I'm in a seat that doesn't recline, which sucks. And I'm in the last row because it's a full flight. I'm not in a middle seat though, which is good. I'm on the aisle. I wish I was on the window, but it's fine. First world problems. <laughs> I gotta put my sunglasses on because if I don't, I'm gonna like be squinting and that causes me to get a headache so i know you guys are like gosh this girl always gets headaches yes i do okay i do y'all after being like stuck on a window seat for five hours it feels amazing to get out and get some fresh air i am walking to the trader joe's you guys do know i'm a creature of habit so i'm gonna go get some food there um it's like a 10 minute walk so that's where i'm heading it is however supposed to start raining at like 2 a.m it's currently like 8 30 p.m it is safe. I did ask the front desk. This is a safe route. So I am being a little bit ballsy, you know, walking by myself. But like I said, fresh air feels good. I'm actually already here. I see the Trader Joe's straight ahead. Wow, guys, this is a smoothie. I might have to try this. They don't have this at my Trader Joe's at home. $3.49. Do you guys have this in your Trader Joe's? Oh my God. I wonder. I wonder. So this is the salad I normally buy, but it, it's totally different. It looks totally different here. But I think this time I'm actually going to try this Chinese salad, whatever, because I've never seen this one either. Is it me or do they just have different stuff here? I'm going to get this one this time, but this one is like my go-to all the time. One thing that's so crazy, guys, I've never seen such empty shelves 
Is this like how it is in a lot of parts of the country? Because back where I live, the shelves are completely like full. A lot of shelves here are empty. Like they don't even have a lot of foods on the shelves. Let me give you some examples. So like a lot of the bagels are gone for the day. I mean, it could be because it's the end of the day. This seems pretty stocked. A lot of the drinks are out. Even over here, a lot of the drinks are gone. A lot of the beans are out, black beans, garbanzo beans. Over here, empty as well. Another find, what is this? A pina colada cider? Wow, this looks interesting. A lot of the frozen foods, gone. I swear, I'm really hoping it's just the end of the night because this store closes in like 15, 20 minutes. I can't think that it's like this all the time. Is it like this all the time where you're at? This seems all pretty stocked over here. Ooh, I feel a lot better. Got my food for tomorrow. I don't have to worry about it. All right, y'all. So I made it back to my room. What a mission I just did. But honestly, like I said, it was kind of awesome. I'm not really one to do something like this, but it was nice to get out and get walking. I ended up stopping and getting a Chipotle chicken bowl. And I just dropped my fork. Okay. Good thing I have another one. So I was gonna go to this place called Saps, which is an Asian, like Japanese cuisine, recommended by the front desk. However, they had a line outside. So I was like, you know what? I'm not waiting on this line. So whatever, I'm just like, grab my food. I grabbed Chipotle, which was kind of like across the street. That's all I needed. But yeah, I got food for tomorrow. I feel great. I got Chipotle, great, great, great. It's gonna be a great night. And I picked these up. I'm excited to eat one after my dinner. It's the toasted coconut granola bark. I don't think I've ever seen this at my Trader Joe's. I swear they have a lot of different things here than they do back home. But anyway, I feel like a mess. I'm gonna put my hair up right now. I'm gonna probably watch a show before I shower and just chill for the rest of the night. We get a limb bus today. And this trip has come to an end. TYSM, thank you so much for joining me on this vlog. I really hoped you liked it. <laughs> it was so much fun. <laughs> but nonetheless, it was a good crew, good trip. And um, yeah, it's over with, guys. Um, it is raining. I have to drive in the rain tonight. It was raining when we left New York today. It's raining here in the Bay Area. It's going to be raining when I get home. Rain, 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 but it's okay. California needs rain. We're always in a drought. So 
Thanks again for joining me. Do not forget to like the video if you like it, share it, subscribe, all of the above. Put my seatbelt on, I'm gonna hit the road. And um, yeah, it's five o'clock. I shouldn't be home too late, but I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye guys.